Welcome! This is the 14th in my series of climate mythbusters, and the myth I'm going to bust today is the claim that the hockey stick figure is broken. First I should explain what the hockey stick actually is. It's a temperature reconstruction over the last 1000 years for the northern hemisphere, using proxies such as boreholes and tree rings, done by Michael Mann in 1998. Mann's results are shown here in blue. A smooth version of those results are shown by the black curve and the grey shading either side shows the uncertainty on the individual measurements. To the right you'll see there's a red area, those are actual observations and where they overlap man's model uh, they agree very well which gives you some degree of confidence that man's model is correct. So where's the myth conception here? Well first of all they claim that man's hockey stick is fundamental to the anthropogenic global warming theory and if the hockey stick proves to be incorrect then the whole anthropogenic global warming theory falls apart. And in 2003 a guy called McIntyre wrote a paper saying exactly that. Namely that the analysis methods used by man were statistically wrong and the data that he used predisposed the curve to be taking a hockey stick shape. And they back this assertion up with the fact that the IPCC has abandoned the hockey stick picture, showing it first in 2003, but abandoning it subsequently. None of these statements are true. In fact, the hockey stick is not part of the anthropogenic global warming theory. Here's a quick summary of the anthropogenic global warming theory. Sunlight comes from the sun, heats the earth, the oceans and the air. As a result of that heating, they emit infrared radiation, which beams back out into space, cooling the earth. However, we have gases in our atmosphere called greenhouse gases that help trap that radiation and keeps the earth a lot warmer than it should be for this current distance from the sun. We are adding to those greenhouse gases and causing the earth to warm further. That's the anthropogenic global warming theory in a nutshell. Now, can anybody point to anywhere in that where a thousand year reconstruction of northern hemisphere uh, temperatures plays into that particular model? It turns out that McIntyre was completely wrong. His claims that the incorrect statistical analysis uh, used by man biased the results were proven incorrect by a subsequent analysis by others using many different statistical methods, but they all came to the same result, a hockey stick. Even using different sets of data, as McIntyre suggested, came to the same result. And that's the reason for that is because that is the trend in the data. So no matter what statistical method you use, the data will show the same thing. Here is a comparison of the man result shown in blue with a subsequent analysis by Wall et al. using the statistical methods suggested by McIntyre. And it's really hard to see very much difference between those two sets of results. If you look at other types of data, here's the data for boreholes. It shows a distinct hockey stick shape. Same for the results from stalagmites and the results from glaciers. So the result of a hockey stick shape is because the data is actually showing that the earth in the last hundred or so years has been warming more rapidly than before producing a hockey stick shape. Well if all of what I've said is true why has the IPCC abandoned the use of the hockey stick? Well the simple answer is it hasn't. Here's what appeared in its 2003 report figure 2.20. It's the result from Man et al. In its next report in 2007 here is not only the man result, but it also includes uh, about a dozen other different reconstructions that basically agree with the man result. But what about the most recent report in 2013? Yes, there it is again, yet with now more reconstructions, all basically agreeing with the man result. And now not only have they done it for the northern hemisphere, but they've now also included the southern hemisphere, and that gets a very similar result. And when you do it globally, you get basically the same result again. So let's draw some conclusions from all of this. The hockey stick was never broken. It was McIntyre who cherry-picked the data and used unsound statistical methods to try to get rid of the effect. The hockey stick is alive and well. Updated versions of it are still being used in the IPCC reports and I wouldn't mind betting that the next IPCC report will have at least one version of it. This is because the effect is in the data. The sudden rise of global temperatures is in the data and you can't avoid it if you use sound analysis techniques. So if you see somebody claiming that the hockey stick is broken and therefore anthropogenic global warming doesn't exist, please post a link to this video and tell them they're full of nonsense. Until next time, 
goodbye.